and McGoblin here. We're going on a road trip. So come with us. Now, I know you saw the last video, hopefully. I found a McBoo, the ghost pail. Now I've got the goblin. So I need to find the orange pail to make the trifecta. So we'll see if by the end of this trip, I find it. But anyway, this is the one I really wanted anyway, so I'm actually pretty happy to find it. But I had to come all the way to Arkansas to find it from Texas. So, you know we're traveling through Arkansas, but I'll show you where we end up. Welcome to Natural Bridge here in Arkansas. Y'all, I was just passing through, I think it's Clinton, Arkansas. I'm headed north, and I saw the turnoff to this, and I was like... This seems interesting. So we're gonna check it out and see what the natural bridge of Arkansas is. <laughs> but this is the entrance here. I think there's a little admission charge. The old well. It's very cute, a big old wooden Indian here is carved. All right, I just, Got my, paid my admission. It's only $5 to come through here, guys. It's really beautiful out here and quiet. And I just want to point out, this little cabin was used as a homesteader's cabin. Um, the guy inside told me it was built in 1870s. He also said, take note of this round, almost perfectly round rock out here. He said that is completely natural. So that's interesting. This cabin was built in the 1880s, I want to say. And uh, we're just going to check it out, see what we can see. I'm so glad I happened upon this. It's very interesting. Looks like you got a bunch of. Tools in here, implements. Say Pepsi, please. They have some nice air conditioning going on here, here by the way. Okay, so all of these little tools here start left, continue clockwise. Okay, so vices, clamps, sewing machines. There's a shotgun shell reloader in here. Really cool. This is just outside the cabin. I'm gonna walk down the steps, I'm not sure. where this goes in particular. <laughs> Maybe just around to the bottom of the cabin here and see what's on the underside. Oh, I got a character. Are they making moonshine? Yeah, it's talking about the process of making moonshine. This guy in here, he's a garden uh, Moonshine still, he's got a double barreled rifle there. <laughs> don't mess with him, don't mess with his moonshine. <laughs> but yeah, these are actual, I guess moonshine stills that they got from these different places, Van Buren County, Arkansas, Searcy County. And there's some moonshine coming out of the the barrel. <laughs> so walking back up to where I came from, you can actually see 
the natural bridge. Is that not awesome? So, the guy inside the the, um, the Welcome Center was telling me that this bridge was used for timber. Um, they would move timber from one area to the next. Um, there was a long winding road that I had to come up to get here, and he said they moved it from one side. They would cut down a, you know, the timber and move it from that side over here. They would take it all the way to the town of Leslie, which is north of here. But how cool is that? Let's see if we can get a closer look. Got a nice picnic area. And it looks like the path is pretty much paved, so look at that. Now, I don't think we're allowed to walk across it, but I think we can view it from a different, couple different vantage points. Just look how pretty it is and how quiet it is. It's awesome. Gorgeous. Great time to come in the fall. Big rocks and everything on the side of the mountain here. I'm noticing. But also... There's a caution sign. I wondered if I'd see Bigfoot up here. I mean, this is the environment for him. Or her. <laughs> the wind's blowing and there's like acorns and stuff falling out <laughs> of the trees. <laughs> I'm trying not to get pummeled by one. Awesome. A rock. Do you hear all the stuff falling? <laughs> it's like leaves and acorns and maybe like sweet gum, I don't know. Sweet gum balls. I hate those, by the way. Maybe it's Sasquatch. Be a nice little place to sit. Got all the holes in the rock here. Check out these boulders. They're quite large and very holy. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, look, there's a crevice. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. All right, so I think the stairs go up there. Maybe we can see more of the bridge. By the way, I believe the trail ends right there. So this is a very small part. There's not a whole lot of hiking, I don't think. But check that out. <laughs> it's a big hole. I'm gonna go underneath the rocks. It's very cool in here, by the way temperature wise and otherwise all right so we're just above the bridge you can see how flat it is it's a nice natural bridge honestly I can see why they used it <laughs> Well, 
So here's a little more history about the bridge. This is prior to all of the logging industry stuff that I tell you about where they were taking the logs from one side to the next trying to get them to the town of Leslie. This was this area was inhabited by I hope I'm saying it right the Quapaw Indian tribe. Uh, early pioneers also used this bridge to cross. Uh, there's a creek down there Little Johnny Creek. And someone else noticeable that used to be in the area here was Belle Starr. She was a female outlaw. So there's a whole other story behind her. You'll have to, to look at, at all of that. But she's also associated with this place. So it was very interesting. Lots of history here that I did not realize. Did not even realize Arkansas had a natural bridge like this. So, awesome find, and it won't take you long to get through, so come visit. Gonna go back down the stairs here to, to go back toward the exit, but I was just noticing all the really pretty fall colors. I'm hoping to see much more of that as I head north, but I had to stop and just look. Y'all, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. I don't see why not, but I'm off the beaten path. But I came up this kind of steep incline because I wanted to see the cave. <laughs> Ooh. That would be a nice place to take shelter if you were Sasquatch. I keep hearing stuff falling. It's acorns, but I want to think it's Sasquatch. Coming back up to the underside of the bridge. Got a little bridge under the bridge. That's a mulberry tree, by the way. Just one more look. Gorgeous with the colors. Y'all, I highly recommend this place. Easy to find right off the highway. If you're near Clinton, Arkansas, only costs five bucks to get in here and it's beautiful in the fall. Come check it out. I've got one of these old canisters, like a milk canister, at my house for decoration. They are playing some good music out here. Got the fiddle going. And this, y'all, is Arkansas barbed wire. It is huge. Look at that. Nothing's getting through that sucker. <laughs> I just stepped out from talking to the gentleman inside, which is very nice, by the way. But I noticed this really old <laughs> Pepsi machine. Antique. Look at that. 75 cents. If you want a can of Pepsi or Orange Crush Mountain Dew, they even have mug root beer, which... <sighs> this might not be a popular opinion, but I hate root beer. just had to come see this relic as a trash bin <laughs> yeah I love this place I love the feel of this the music they have going the everything love it
into Missouri. Okay, we made it. Branson, Missouri. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys on a little walk. I'm gonna go to another destination, an attraction here in Branson. This was my ultimate destination, Branson. But I'm gonna take you on a little walk and then I'm gonna make a video on that attraction. But check out this restaurant. This is Peschetti's. I may eat here at some point, but I just love this huge meatball with a fork in it. Nice. The tomato up there on the top. Cool. They have a ton of attractions here. Very tourist friendly here in Branson. But I just love all of the awesome things they have to get your attention to make you want to come in. This is the behind the lens or beyond the lens. Yep, that's the wax museum over there with King Kong. That's awesome, look. King Kong's booty. <laughs> but, um, what is... Oh, cool. It's beyond the lens. Is that... Okay, yeah, that's the entrance. Right? <laughs> That'd be a cool photo. Yeah, so I'm just taking a stroll. I can walk from my hotel to a few attractions right around me, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, so they, they have their own Mount Rushmore here. I can see clearly Elvis. What is that, the Duke? <laughs> Here's another look at King Kong up here. He's got the, is that the airplane? <laughs> I don't know. Gotta hand it to them. It, it's really appealing when you see stuff like that. You want to go in because you're like, cool. So, we're going to try to get across here without getting run over. Got another booty shot. <laughs> kind of cool. And look inside the wax museum. That's a great photo op too. Probably gonna have to do this at some point, just not today. But got a mirror maze, and what is this? Is this the plane that King Kong has in his hand? <laughs> You can stand up here and get your picture taken. Just wanted to take y'all on a little stroll through Branson so you can see what all you can do. There's so much. There's a ton of shows, by the way. The lady uh, at my hotel gave me like a list that's like three or four pages long. <laughs> of shows that are going on in the area. There's an awesome 80s show. Look, there's another Wonderworks. We just saw one of those in Florida. Said I was going to have to try it, but... Still not in the plans right now. One day, can't do everything at one time. Unfortunately give any excuse to come back to these places, you know? But they do have a Wonderworks. And get a better look at it. There's a lot going on there. Is that a FedEx? That's a FedEx box up there. 
Everything's upside down, topsy-turvy. Palm trees, even the lights are like flickering. I don't know if you can see that, but they are. That's really neat. Look, they have a Christmas store that's not open. Looks like they have lots of cute little shops and info center. What? Another Christmas? Kringle's Christmas shop? I guess they're closed because it's not Christmas, huh? It's <laughs> cute little photo ops back here. This is called the Grand Village, by the way. That's cute. Apparently, most of these shops are closed. <laughs> but it's really cute. Honestly, it looks like a little Christmas town. Maybe that's what they're going for, but... Yeah, I think most of these close at like 5. 5 o'clock. Look how cute they are. <laughs> This would be a neat place to go shopping. The tea shop. They're already decorated for Christmas, y'all. They got their Christmas trees up. Not yet, we gotta get done with Halloween. Not yet, not yet. This is heckin' cute. <laughs> and a big chair right there they're taking pictures in. So cute, I love it. I bet you it's all lit up at Christmas. We made it to the Branson Boardwalk. I'm not really sure what all the boardwalk is, but I know the aquarium is here. Looks like they have a Budweiser truck <laughs> right there. I don't know if they have food in it or just beverages. And then there's another truck that looks like an ice cream truck. It's called Spoonies right there, but I believe they're closed. And I think a restroom facility. And back here they have this cool fountain. And I think they have like fountain shows every now and then. But we'll see if we can check it out. <laughs> So that was legit. <laughs> I like that. Okay guys, I think I'm going to end the video right here because there's a lot of content. I'm going to split it up. Uh, so stay tuned to see where we wander to next. Thank you for coming along on my little mini road trip through Arkansas. We made it to Missouri. So we'll do a couple of things while we're here. So come back and make sure you watch, like, and subscribe. See you then.